Well, good day, good day, and welcome to another episode of Kiwi Car Life. And today we're going to be scientifically measuring the difference that a set of Skunk 2 lowering springs, RE003 tires, and Advan TC touring wheels makes to the handling of my CD5 Accord. Alrighty, so before we install the Skunk 2 lowering springs on this car, I think the first thing to do is to measure how much of a drop we're actually going to get. So let's go from the floor to the guard. So here we go, we're looking at about 69 centimeters. <laughs> okay, so now that we've proved that it is indeed riding sky high, we're gonna do some slightly more scientific tests. So I've got my uh, RaceLogic V-Box here, and we're gonna see how many Gs that we can pull around this roundabout. Here we go, that's about the limit of grip. Uh. Alrighty, so around that roundabout, we managed to pull 0.82 Gs on the stock wheels and suspension. Now let's see how many Gs we can pull around this motorway on ramp. Turning in. Alrighty, and yep, that's pretty much it. Oh, mate, far out. Wow, okay, we pulled 0.98 G, so pretty much one G of lateral forces there. So with the very scientific tests out of the way, now I'm going to tell you how to install lowering springs on a 5th generation Accord like mine. For the front suspension, jack up the car and take the wheel off and then remove the two bolts that hold the front brake line on, the bolt that holds the shock to the fork, the big bolt in the bottom of the fork, and finally the three bolts in the top of the shock under the bonnet. With the shock out, use spring compressors to compress the spring and then remove the bolt that holds the top hat in. Install the new springs and then bolt it all back in. For the rear suspension, pull apart the plastics in the back of the car to access the two bolts at the top of the shock tower, and then undo the big bolt that holds the bottom of the shock to the knuckle. Replace the spring like with the front shock, bolt it all back in, and now your tired old Accord looks awesome. And for those of you wondering, I decided to go with a set of 17 by 7 plus 35 Advan TC Touring wheels in white. Bit of a controversial choice, I know, but I think it looks alright. With a set of Bridgestone Potenza RE003 tyres with 215-45 R17 spec. Alrighty, so now we have the roundabout test once more. Here we go, how many G's can we pull now? Oh, jeepers. Alrighty, well that's a noticeable improvement as well. 0.98. Okay, so coming right up is part two of the motorway on-ramp test and let's see how many G's we can pull. Alrighty, here we go. Jeepers, man, that is next level. That was 1.12 Gs through that corner. So now that I've installed the lowering springs and the better tires, I have noticed a couple of other differences with this car. The first one, obviously the handling is excellent, but the ride comfort has suffered a bit, I have to say. Look, you know, when I first got in it and I drove it off the curb of the edge of my house, I knew straight away that this is now a very hard riding car. Thankfully the seats are still very comfortable so I don't have any complaints there. But the added bonus of the improved suspension and tyres with a much lower profile is that now the turn-in is just incredible. You know there's no cars coming here. Just the way this car <laughs> changes direction now is simply astonishing. And steering feel I think has been improved as well. I find it much easier to place the car on the road. It just generally feels a lot more sporty. So there we go, the scientific test proved it. We got a four centimeter drop overall and on average an improvement of around about 0.15 G through the turns. The handling is now absolutely phenomenal. All it really needs now is a bit more power. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Kiwi Car Life. I would definitely recommend installing lowering springs and good tyres on your car. So much so I did it on both of mine. So if you want to see me installing some lowering springs and good wheels and tyres on my CL9, my other car, then click over here. And if you want to see my full review of this car, then click over here. And last of all, thank you very much for watching.